What is up everybody? Random Random Man here bringing you my review for Deadpool. Now the plot basically follows our title Merc with a Mouth played by Ryan Reynolds as his life quickly gets turned into shambles as he contracts terminal cancer. But he tries to get a cure for it by undergoing torturous experiments from the nefarious Ajax, played by Ed Screen. And not only does he drift away from his girlfriend, played by Wanena Bakari, in the process, but he turns into a superpowered being. I'll be one to admit that I am not the biggest fan of Ryan Reynolds. I wasn't a fan of his <laughs> original portrayal of this character in X-Men Origins Wolverine, as I found him just annoying as regular Wade Wilson, and it didn't help that his character was all the more decimated by the end of the movie. Then he became Green Lantern, then he also did R.I.P.D. He really hasn't done much to see me impressed by what he can do as an actor. Until now! I really think he found his niche in playing this character the way he was supposed to be portrayed. Reynolds is not only hilarious in all the things he says with this very meta film and breaking the fourth wall all the time, but also with the action scenes and the chemistry with Morena Bakari's character. I was really shocked at how much chemistry that Bakari and Reynolds had together, as not only did I also enjoy Bakari's performance, but there's a shocking amount of romantic undertones that make this fitting as a romantic movie too and not just a comic book adaptation. Other actors I really enjoyed in this film were TJ Miller as he provided some very nice if brief comic relief at times and the two actors who played the two mutants in this movie from the X-Men, Colossus and Negasonic Teenage Warhead. The story here is honestly one big problem I have with this movie because the movie seems to be just a lot of fan service, which isn't necessarily bad for a type of movie like this, but it tends to get unevenly focused at times. The first 20 minutes definitely set the stage for what the movie has to offer. It is just flat out gut busting. But I think that in between all the origin stuff that this movie has to get out of the way and getting the Deadpool character across and in between all the action scenes, it tends to meander at times. Also, this goes into what I thought of the villain. I really didn't like Ed Screen's portrayal of Ajax. He was a very very generic, very bland, and just all the more uncharismatic character that I really didn't care for. But what this movie accomplishes, it accomplishes immensely well. The action in this film, among the comic book movie genre, is some of the best I've ever seen. It is very fast, it is very slick, stylish, and bloody. This movie is not for the youngest of viewers out there. It definitely earns its R rating as I think there is a balance that is offered with what the movie has to show in being faithful to its original source material in all of its foul mouth vulgarity, all the bloody violence, and sexually explicit content. The visuals that are offered here tend to show the budget that this movie was made for as it it's on a lower end of what a comic book movie is usually made for. But I think it gives the movie its style that is reminiscent of other R-rated comic book movies on this type of level, like Kick-Ass. The humor in this movie also gives it its style even more, not only with Deadpool's hilarious quips that make fun of himself and Ryan Reynolds, but also with the comic book industry in general. In the end, I would say overall, Deadpool breaks down like this. As a comic book movie within the genre, it cannot get more perfect than that with its immensely well done style and the masterful performance from Ryan Reynolds of this title character. As a movie overall, I think it is an okay watch on a purely analytical level. For what it lacks a lot of in substance, especially within the storytelling, it is totally more than made up for, in my opinion, with the style it is attributed within a comic book movie, as it is a definite different type of film when you look at it between all the other ones that have been made out there. So putting these two mindsets together, I would say Deadpool still amounts to a movie that is definitely worth watching and recommended from me, not only to comic book fans out there who have been clamoring for a Deadpool movie as long as they can remember, but also for those of you who are on the fence in seeing it. I say if you're still iffy on whether or not you want to give this movie a watch, I would still say go give it a watch as it is a different type of comic book movie that is 
unlike many of the other ones that we have gotten in the past because it is refreshing what it does stylistically and you'll just have a great time watching it because of how hilarious it is and how satisfying the action is overall. My final verdict for Deadpool is four out of five stars. Thank you all as always for watching. Be sure to like this video, comment on what you thought of Deadpool, subscribe to my channel for more, and I'll catch you on the next movie review.